Jai. <laughs> nice to see you. Hi. Hi, welcome back to my channel, our channel. It's both of our channels really, because this is our house. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to do an updated house tour. Um, a year ago, well, it was 13 months ago, we moved into this house and I did an empty house tour. Um, and I wanted to do an updated one so that we could see what we've accomplished in that 13 months, what the house is looking like. I want to do one every year so we can see what's done and also just so that you guys are up to date. And also I wanted to um, do this because I wanted to see the dynamic of our family change. So last year we moved in um, and it was just me and Brad. Now, fast forward 13 months, we now have um, our Doberman puppy, Chai. Say hello to everybody. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have our Doberman puppy, he's Chai, he's um, seven and a half months. Old. So yeah, we're just, I just wanted to update you all and show our proudest accomplishment, I'd say, so far. Wouldn't you say, Brad? Yeah, I'd say so. Brad's behind the camera, by the way, um, if you're wondering how the camera's floating around. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what we've done. Obviously, we've still got lots and lots to do, um, but it's we're doing it bit by bit. Everything costs money. Um, Everything's expensive in a house, isn't it? Yeah, very. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll show you here. So in here is the garage. Now it's a lot different to last year because it's full of everything. Stuff. So you can go in and show. But yeah, so lots and lots of stuff in here. Um, there is a future video coming. Um, so last time you would have seen it, there wouldn't have been white walls, there wouldn't have been a painted floor, there wouldn't have been anything in it. It was literally just brown and brown brown concrete cement whatever it is brown and gray brown and gray um but yeah um brad uh, brad did most of this painting he did a really good job 75 percent. yeah but it, these walls literally just soak up the paint yeah. and don't really show any of the white so it no. took a bit of a time for you to get it on didn't it but yeah we've got these storage units from ikea it still needs sorting out obviously we've got loads of tools and loads of loads of crap basically but it's crap that we um need need <laughs> um, maybe and maybe one side you. here so originally we were planning to put a wall in here weren't we so literally here so that this side could be another little room but we're thinking that more so down the line now we're not bothered about doing that anytime soon because it's working for us like this isn't it yeah like being able to just come and put stuff in and then we've got this fridge here full of chai's food um and get wrong we, we still need to sort lots out uh, these are from brad's van if you're wondering what yeah. they are we've been um, camping so yeah, yeah. It, it does need sorting out but a lot of this is accounted for we're thinking of maybe getting like a work top or something yeah it, it'd have to be um, it'd have to be there yeah just so that along, um along that. and like some more shelves so that chai stuff can go and then like any garden stuff can have not be in here oh, yeah to be fair we've got we've got a little <laughs> unit outside so when i say a unit it's a, a mini tent whatever yeah. they're called it's a um, greenhouse a greenhouse a mini greenhouse um but yeah so this is the garage so this is what we're working with but so yeah it's clean yeah no cobwebs Except for some of the massive spiders that we've been getting. Oh my god. Yeah, in, in the garage. They've had, they've had two yeah, big, in the garage. Two big house spiders. Oh my god. Make me actually want to clean myself. Um, but yeah, he's got his punch bag, he's got his dartboard, his weights, his road shoes. Football stuff. All your football stuff, all our camping stuff, and all your work stuff. Yep. And then loads of my crap that needs to have a home but hasn't got a home yet. Honestly, you might think 30 months gives you enough time to get everything sorted, but I do genuinely think we've got so much stuff, haven't we? How? Yeah, it's but that stuff that's under there is your stuff that you've just not done nothing with, so. Yeah, I am selling some of it, so. Yeah. Anyway, let's go into here. Hi, darling. So, if you come across the hall, steady, baby. Um, this is the room. Oh, there's a rogue sandal. <laughs> I wonder who bought this in. Um, but yeah. So this is the living room. Again, I'm so proud of this living room and that we've got um, sofas and I think I love the, I remember on our first video and I said, I love this nook. And Brad was like, it's not new. It's a bay window. But to me, I still call it the bay window slash nook, just because, just to be awkward. But we had the Christmas tree there. 
Oh my god, it was amazing. And I actually went into, um, where did I go today? B&Q and Sainsbury's, and there was a candle there that smelled like cinnamon. And I just kept thinking. Christmas. Christmas is soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is what the sofas are supposed to look like. This is what our sofa that we sit on looks like. Because we found that there wasn't enough room um, because they're quite padded. But we're, Brad's going to make us a puff, puffet, puffet, puffet footrest, whatever it's called, um, to go here. So then we're going to put the cushions back on so we'll have more room to like spread out. And also the reason why there's blankets on it is because he's a boy. And if you didn't know, the willy likes to leak. <laughs> and I don't want it. I don't want that all over my bloody sofa, do I? So yeah, that is the living room. Um, we're going to be building a fake chimney breast here. We. I say we. When I say we, I mean Brad, and I'm going to be passing him a screwdriver. That I'll never use. That you'll never use. I'm going to pass him a hammer. That I'll never use. A screw gun. That I'll use. And some nails. No, screws. Screws, yep. Um, and we're going to get, we want a three-sided glass, like, fireplace, plate, what is it? Just fire. Um, and then I want a beam of wood here. And that's it really. And then I'm going to get a unit, like some drawers or something to go here to cover these plugs. And then across in that corner there, I want a bookshelf. But yeah, that's it really. We need to, it's a work in progress. I'm proud that we've got the sofas because that's one of the big purchases that we knew we needed to make. And... Sofas are pricey, like... Depending on what you want. Depending on what you want. And I naturally have expensive taste in that. It's not because I'm a snob. I do genuinely just could pick the most expensive one without even realising. Yeah, there could be three bottles of water and you'd pick one for a yeah. tenner that the beef yeah, should be. The beef. It's exactly the same, but it's just... Yeah. Just out of my lab works. But yeah, still love these doors. I can remember saying, oh my God, I can't believe I've got these doors. <laughs> and I still can't believe I've got these doors. So yeah, I'm going to show you the front door and then we go this way into the kitchen, which is still, I think this is my favourite room, so it's a kitchen diner, but we'll show you over there in a second. So we've got the kitchen and, oh my gosh, I love it. So this is the kitchen, obviously, super proud of this. I remember always wanting like a kitchen like this and then when we finally came and saw the houses and realised that this could be ours, like, and it is, it is ours, like, I feel really, really lucky, oh sorry, Shai's just trying to have cuddles with daddy, um, but yeah, so, um, we've got blinds, oh, I forgot to show you that we've done blinds in the kitchen, now, in the living room now, but we've got blinds here, um, we've got our coffee machine, which is our pride and joy, because we run off caffeine, <laughs> actually, sometimes I run off caffeine, it depends, and then sometimes it makes me feel anxious, so, We've done these shelves, literally pulled these out from rubble. They were covered in slugs, spiders and mud. Um, sanded them down, got some brackets and um, made them look cool. Put all my cooking books on there. Yeah, I love it. Absolutely love that. I think in the kitchen, I'd say the shelves probably part of my favourite bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, and then we've come through here with the arch, which you are now. Um, and this is the utility. So this is Chai's station really. So we've just got Chai's food, some treats like chicken feet, um, chicken feet, treats, all his nut mix, or well, not nut mix, seed mix, a um, basket full of his stuff. Um, and then there's a door there that leads outside. Um, to which, the garden. To the garden, yeah. And then in here is the downstairs loo. Um, so we've not done loads to this because it didn't really need much. The mat is in here because I didn't want to try to nibble it when I've left him home alone before. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I wish I got a mirror. You are more than enough because I love a little quote. Um, bar of soap that says you're lovely. And then obviously it's, this is just a quote room, isn't it? And then there's uh, no rain, no flowers, all of that. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking in here maybe painting it a dark colour I'm not sure though or I could go the total opposite and go like a sunset salmon do you know what I mean? yeah the sky colour do you know when there's a beautiful sunset? pinky, orangey burnt orange 
but not as burnt. Yeah. It's not as orange, but not as pink. But that's this is the downstairs layer. Um, that's all I can say about that. But yeah, so follow me through here. And this is the dining room. Um, please ignore the crate. This is. It looks quite cool with the wood on, to be honest. Yeah. They look too, and the plant. Yeah, looks this nice. isn't our, our favourite, but obviously we've decorated it to we've suit. We've decorated it to make it a little bit better. Um, but obviously we have a puppy, so although we are just starting to leave him out in the kitchen when we're not in. Give him um, a bit of freedom. I mean, he doesn't sleep in the crate at night time because he's brilliant. He just sleeps on the floor or yep. sometimes on our bed. Sometimes. Um, <laughs> depending on how hot it is because... And he's a big dog. It's like three grown adults in a bed. It's a lot. Um, but yeah, so we have just started letting him roam around the kitchen when we're not in. So hopefully this won't be here for loads and loads longer. But it's there just in case. If I, it's just nice to know that for his safety and for the sake of our kitchen, it's not going to get bit to shreds. Yep. Um, but yeah, so this is another really proud accomplishment. Feeding station. Yeah, that's his feeding station. That he likes to, I've never known a dog splash food and water more than child. Not so much his food, it's definitely just his water. He just drinks it and then just goes. It just falls out his mouth. Literally. Um, but yeah, so we've got the lights, obviously, will be moved across, but obviously, the crates in the way. But this table is a really proud accomplishment for me and Brad. Um, again, Brad did a lot of the building, I did the I, painting and varnishing. I cut it and sand it, yeah. put it together and you stained it. Yeah, so we ordered the legs and then obviously the wood, um, and then we've got these chairs, uh, which I shall show you, around here. So, so these chairs, literally got four, off Facebook Marketplace for £10. Um, they are a little bit like scuffed, but I kind of love that. And then what we did is we just took this off, put some faux leather on, and they're quite vintage. And I kind of love that, like, they're not new, they're not, it doesn't matter if they're going to they get scratched or anything. Huh. Um, but I love them, I just like, I like that, some old with the new. Because this is a new build, I didn't want everything to be brand spanking new because it would just look too show homey and that's just not my style, it's not Brad's style. Um, I wanted it to be... I want to have a home style. Well, I, my home style and then you just... Follow suit. Yeah, um, it's not my, but it works out well, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't want it to be like brand squeaking new because the house is beautiful and new. Brand squeaking now. Yeah, what, what is it? Brand spanking. Brand spanking. Um, and then obviously we've got our picture frames because I, I, I like to add a little bit of quirk because I am weird. So who doesn't want bugs and mushrooms on the wall in the kitchen? Individual. Yeah, I individual. Weird. I am an individual. I don't, I don't mind. I like being different. <laughs> <laughs> um, then across to here, this is my pride and joy in terms of plant. Genuinely love this plant so much. Um, and I can't wait for it to grow because I want it to grow all the way around. Um, and then this chair is going to be a DIY project. This is a chair that I used to, my mum and dad used to feed me milk in as a baby. Um, and it used to be like a, basically like this colour with a different material. So I'm going to try and restore it back to that slightly different. To its glory. To its glory with the deep wood. Um, and I don't know if this is going to live here or upstairs, I'm not sure. And then obviously we've got a plant. Um, so That's a tree. Or a tree. Whatever it it's is. A, it's an Ikea Although, tree. It keep, leaves keep falling off, so I don't think it's living its best life for some reason. It's not living its best life. What do you mean? Look at these. And there's baby ones, baby so it ones. must be okay. All loving it. Yeah. So, I'll briefly let Brad just pan around the garden, but um, we have just uploaded a garden transformation vlog, so if you want to see what we did there, I'll link that below. But um, I'm pretty proud of, like, everything. This was literally just mud, wasn't it? Yeah. It was literally mud with six slabs and brad has done all of that all of the slabs we laid the grass um and i just added the pizzazz I did the, help ju with the, the zhuzh the zhuzh i did help with the um the grass and i passed a few tools um yeah. but now brad's really good he's handy handy man yep. we're gonna get a table um, Brad's finishing off. Ignore the wood. Yeah, ignore the wood. Brad's finishing I am off. finishing it off after this. Yeah, he's finishing that off after this. Um, and then next year's project is going to probably be doing a summer house with a log burner. It's literally 
everything yeah. we want and more and it's coming true. Like, I feel very, very lucky. Um, but also I have Brad to thank for it because he's the man behind the tools. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so I'll show you upstairs. Boyfriend stroke cameraman. Slash. Uh, slash handyman Hi, slash. Man. Oh, I'm very lucky. Did you slash. bang your head then? Oh yeah, he did, yeah. <laughs> so, if you come upstairs. So yeah. so yeah, keep left when you come up our stairs because Chai goes right. Yeah, and he sometimes likes to full blown charge up like it's a game. Um, don't you? Okay, so this is the main um, spare room. Um, we haven't finished it, but it's just, it's livable for when guests come and stay. And so, speaking of guests, we have got guests coming next week. So let's come in. Uh, but yeah, so if you want to come in here. So... My favourite flower is um, the sunflower. But yeah, um, just the bed. Obviously, got our blinds, um, a bit of bit of little touches, and then we are going to put some of this up after we've filmed this. Um, so I've got a little bit of art, a mirror. That's it basically. This room is, and the coat's behind the door because we need somewhere to keep our winter attire. Yes, but. The hallway is again another dream of ours. Like I never imagined having a hallway that looks like this. Like I'm super, super proud of us. Like it's actually a dream. Like, but yeah, I can't believe I can't believe we've been in for like over a year. Oh my god! So yeah, I put the light on for the bathroom. Um, another tranquil space that I love. Um filled with live plants except for this one because nothing can survive there for some reason it's just not enough sun I don't know um, but this plant um, and the, oh yeah the mirror we, we went do you know why we went for a mirror like this because we have arches throughout the house um, and we just thought it was fitting that it was an arched mirror um, but yeah so I've got my, my plants I've got this this plant is, is another pride and joy um, it's very green. Yeah. It's loving it. It's very happy there. I mean, it hardly gets watered. It, it does, believe it or not. No. I do. I do feed it. Not that often, but probably like once every couple of weeks. But because I, when I do water it, I drown it. Right. Um, so this is a little bench that me and Brad made. Um, but I thought I love that that it's not finished. I love that there's like stains on it um, because I put a candle on. I've got my books on, and I'll either put. A cold glass of water or a glass of wine on there whilst I sit and bathe and bathe in my beautiful bath and, and there is a shower here as well but we don't really use this one it's more so guests that use um, this one I do use the bath but yeah the shower it does come with shower gel I think we don't deprive the guests of yeah, everyone. nothing <laughs> no you can have that okay so I'll go through to these spare rooms so which one should I do first this one okay so this room is Nothing yet. This is just. This is just where we put things. Pillows. So this and is like bags of clothes bags that of go into charity. That's my mum's suitcase. This is stuff that hasn't got a place, a place yet. yet. Spare pillows so that when we do get a bed in here, there is going to be some pillows to go on that bed. Yeah. So eventually, we are going to get a bed to go here. Um, we're thinking maybe that white one, and then get a different bed for in there, aren't we? Yeah, it but that's sense. that's down the road. Um, and then obviously we'll get bedside tables. But yeah, we've got blinds and everything in here. Um, so the house is all equipped with blinds. Yeah, we've got some plant pots as well and a yeah. lamp. Oh god, I love that lamp. I'm thinking mm. that that lamp in the living room once we get a unit yeah. or something to put it on. Um, but but yeah. Okay, so across to here. Oh, what about the airing covers? I'm going to do airing covers. Oh, yeah. yeah. So across to here. This is Brad's office, slash still some stuff that doesn't have a home yet. Um, because we, everything needs a place to live. Also gifts as well. Yeah, there's some gifts in there. And then a lot of these are my shoes that I all, do All bar a pair. Two pairs, isn't Two it? pair, yeah. Uh, three pair, four pairs. Four? Oh, the, the loafers, yeah. Yeah, um, but yes, this is um, the office where Brad comes and does his work. We've got our beautiful fish. Do you want to say the names? If it focuses. That one. 
the yellow tailed one is called Lepi, the little one's called Tiny, and that one there is called Pearl because it's a pearlescent shiny. And then there is always here, is there, we've got one that's called Cat. Oh, it's just hide, it's just hid. Hmm. Where is it? It just went under there. He's a cat, like, basically like a catfish. Yeah, it, it looks like a catfish, but. I don't, it, he's not a catfish, no, he's but not. you know what I mean, he looks like a catfish. He looks like a cat. Well, yeah, so this is the office. Eventually, if we are lucky enough to have babies, not yet, not yet, <laughs> not yet, um, but eventually when we do have babies, this will be the nursery and we'll move the office over to that side. And then when we eventually touch wood, have another baby, if we're lucky enough, that'll be the baby room and yeah. the office will probably be no longer no, or yeah, non-existent yeah because um, i like the thought of having a spare room because i love knowing that we can have guests come around yeah um but yeah so eventually but right now this is a functioning office with everything we need um we don't need to buy anything else for in here because there's no, no point to buy stuff. wait we'll be, i'll put my playstation in here yeah when we get a spare so tv room yes. on that horrible green table a camping table it's not horrible so, out of this room to your left, there is the... The dog. <laughs> the dog, yeah. Um, and then this is where the airing cupboard is. we just got some storage to put all of our towels, skincare, well, like, shampoos and all that, loo rolls. <clears throat> it's quite a nice space to have. Just um, uh, put that there for you. Yeah, it's quite a nice space to have in it, this. Yeah, it just keeps your towels warm. Yeah. Sun creams. All, Skincare. All that spit, and then I put some cleaning products in there sometimes, although I need to have a restock um, from downstairs, bring some stuff up. Yeah. Um, and get that. But yeah, that's it's a nice space to have to, to put stuff in. Um, so we're really lucky that we've got that. Okay, so lastly is our bedroom. So this is where the magic see, happens. <laughs> the magic happens, yeah. Um, yeah, this is another, it's the boudoir. So, we have our linen curtains, um, which I really love. They let in just some, a lovely amount of light, you know, when the sun shines through. So lovely in the evening. Um, but we do have our roller blinds if we want it to be darker. Um, and then we have our bedside tables. Um, they're just the same. And our beautiful bed. I love our bed so much. It, I, just, I think it's so nice and then um, we have just bought Chai's bed in here this was downstairs but last night for some reason he just wouldn't settle so we bought his bed up and he settled um, but yeah so these set of drawers from Ikea they did come with different handles on originally um, but I wanted something just a little bit softer so I bought these off Amazon because originally they are black like black and metal and we haven't got anything black in our bedroom so I thought I wanted something just a little bit more neutral and then we've got a plan and um, the picture frame which still needs putting up because it needs finishing there needs a beam of wood along the bottom bit and um, a light and then across this side is oh some carpet cleaner <laughs> honestly it was all beautiful and tidy um, when I was filming, um, but of course it's it's played me and it's cut some off. Um, but yeah, so this is this section. So me and Brad actually made this bench. Um, I really wanted something there just to dress it up a little bit, to put some stuff on. And the vision definitely came to life. I absolutely love it. Um, I wasn't sure on the colour originally, but while like now it's in here, I love it. I think it just brings a lot more warmth. And obviously we've got another plan, um, some books, um, and I think I really, I just really love it. Yeah. Um, so that is the bedroom basically. If we go down here, there is an arch, um, and it leads into there to our wardrobes. That's my side. That's Brad's side, and then down there is where the downstairs loo is. But yeah, I love our bedroom. A bed doesn't look it. I literally just quickly rushed and made it so that I could show you. Um, but yeah, I really love, I love our room. So it's a nice little tranquil space. So yeah, our mattress is literally like, I've never seen a mattress that big in all my life. Like, have you? No. <laughs> it came and we were like, it weren't that big in its shop. We need bigger sheets. <laughs> like, what the hell? Uh, but yeah, so here is another arch that is the theme through our house. And then to your right, to my left, is the wardrobes. Brad's is this side. <laughs> Mine's that side. 
Um, and it actually does need a clean because I've just brushed my teeth and sprayed toothpaste all over it. Yep. Although I have just bought a mirror. To get that one dirty in the To get that one dirty in the, mirror, in the bathroom. And it is down there. So yeah, I'll let you show them the bathroom. So we've got our mat that says get naked. Um, standard. Standard, sink. standard. Yeah. What you usually find. Metal, storage. Yeah. Jodder. I've got my get naked mat. Yeah, um, right. <laughs> <You see> it. <laughs> and then this is the new mirror that we're going to be putting up in a minute. Oh, cactus shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hanging towels on the back of the door. Yeah. But yeah, this is our bedroom. So we'll go downstairs and then we'll have a little catch up. So that is the updated house tour. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you would do. Where would you put certain things? What do you think we need? I'm always open to suggestions. Obviously be kind because as I say before, I am sensitive. So only nice comments, please. Um, <laughs> well, I've come from where you live. <laughs> you know, I am sensitive. I am a sensitive soul. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy. Like, I can't believe that this is our house, like, 13 months ago today, Louie, well, no. not today, like, well, yeah. on my birthday we moved in, it was in 13, 12 months ago, however long ago it was. Oh yeah, you don't like when I kiss mommy, do you? Oh, oh, he's jealous. <laughs> we can kiss you too, we can kiss you too, thank you. Thanks. Yeah. It's just so crazy to think that, oh my god, this time, like last year we didn't have him. We just moved in. We were super proud of the fact that this was our house. We're, we was in love, we still are in love with the house. Like, yeah, I'm just, I'm really proud of us and everything we've accomplished in this time. Like, a lot of the big purchases that we said we needed to get, we've done. This, the, them cupboards in the utility yeah. weren't there. No. We, we needed to get all the wood for the decking, we needed a sofa, um, what else? Our bed, our mattress, like all things yeah, that... Yeah, like over 2,000 for mattress on the Like bed. everything, everything is so expensive in a house, like, honestly. And But my yeah. favourite kind of shopping now is house shopping, isn't it? Yeah, I can't go nowhere without buying anything for the house, can I? Or for you? Put yeah. Your, put your rocket away. Oh, I know. Put your lipstick away. No one wants to see your lipstick. No, no one wants to see your lipstick. Oh, it's so sad. But yeah, um, super proud of us. I'm proud of you, brother. I'm proud of you. <laughs> and I'm proud of you, Jennifer. Oh, can you see him? You can't see him. You can just see his nose. But yeah, there's three of us now. The three Not two. The three musketeers. Yeah, Chai Pai, our seven and a half month old baby is here. Baby um, but yeah, thank you for watching. If you do love watching house content, please subscribe because we always do loads of house content. Like we obviously filmed all of the garden. It's not building something, it's you it's decorating something. Or DIYing, like we want to decorate. I'm thinking maybe painting somewhere green. Um, we're obviously I'll be DIYing that chair. We'll be finishing the garden. Next year we'll be building the... Summer. summer house um there's like lots and lots of things to come but if you do want to catch up please go and watch previous videos um because you'll see it from day one you'll see our moving vlogs everything um but yeah we do loads of house content but also we do like just days in our lives we do weekends away and yep. um, so if you just want to get to know us or if you just want to see house content please subscribe because i love to know that people want to watch my videos and like yeah. 13 months ago when I first started and I didn't well I, I've been going a bit longer but consistently it, from when we moved in but more so consistently 2022 but I, that's when it started moving in was like the, the full yeah. start of but me that's being when like yeah doing it every week or well, like it was for maybe fortnightly but then weekly and then and then this year it's been weekly mm -hmm. um, so I upload every Tuesday um, around 10 a.m. but yeah so when we first moved in. I probably had what now like thirteen subscribers. Thirteen subscribers, and now I've got one thousand one hundred and fifty something, and that's amazing. Like I'm super proud of that. So thank you for you who have um, subscribed and couldn't get it out then. Um, 
Uh, thank you for you who have subscribed and for all of the comments and the likes. It means everything. But yeah, if you want to follow along with our journey of life, really, in it, just our life. Yeah. Um, subscribe cool. and try yeah. literally just stomp out on the floor now. Thank you for watching, um, and I shall see you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.